Don't let your brain was by the media. Veganism. Vegetables elim eliminate. Great ap apathies. Recent narcissism. This would it be. This would it be. Vegetables eliminate. Great. Arthrosic. Apathic. Narcissism. This would be. Be a vegan spin. Be friendly. We will only want not that they're little innocent animals. That have nothing done to you. Be free. And live their life the way they want. So what's the problem? Are you liking our weird hair that sends uh we think you didn't be negative? There'd be another reason to don't like something. That they're being different. Different is good. Imagine that we have a world full with uh, sociopathic uh, Adolf Hitler's. Or we have a world full with uh, Al Qaeda. Or we have a world full with. I say something. How they. Uh, we have a full world full with uh, rapists. The sun is not a good thing. We have to destroy the root of evil by Felix. Say it. Matt, my guest, I want you to say that the path to peace is the veganism. Is one of the solutions to have peace on this planet. As long as we don't, all be vegan. We don't can have world peace. If we have a conference with any group of people around the whole world, the only thing that they can eat, the only thing that they can eat. That's being vegan. It's the only way that you don't upset some group. In groups where there are eat dogs, in groups where there are dogs as pets, there are groups where there have a pigs as pets, and there are places where there worship cows. I say that uh, what it cows being oh. in other parts of the country that we destroyed by the mess. That's why the go vegan. Go a vegan. Is just hit B. Not hard. Oh, wait. It is not hard if you watch it from the animals. They're being raped, tortured, and abused. Imagine. Sometimes your parents beat you for no reason. So, do it also not to others. Violent behavior to other living beings that don't harm you. I know you maybe not think that is something wrong. But there are also people that, that, that think that cannibalism is not something wrong. Taking the life of another living being 
you don't want to be hurt. It's absolutely always something wrong. And real rapists and tormentors to, to fight for it. For the real. If they're not, screw them. Screw all rapists and murderers and tormentors. Let them feel how it feels if they're being a victim. So, I think you also want that um, if somebody rape you woman, that the rapist become uh, sterilized. Cut in a knife and uh, cut his testicles off. Or uh, somebody that uh, somebody that torments your girlfriend or your bone friends to let's kill them. I also think that you want it, but that's not. So, do not do others. Listen to your religion for one time. Do not do others what you don't want to tell to you. If you not want that somebody kill your children in the face, also not harm a dog or the woman or what else. A child don't give not about that. Don't mean that they don't give about that. And it is not your right to do that. And actually, if you don't give about anything, I don't understand why somebody have to give about you. Because if you don't give about anything and you don't give about yourself, why? They are given about you. They are, then they have the right actually to kill you. Because you've been a parasite. And only human parasites have to be spared by the crazy mind of the human. Parasites being parasites. No matter whether the parasite is a human or an Disease or like that. We don't live in a symbolic relationship with animals. We live in a parasitic relationship with animals. We and and also with the planet. We take and take and take and take and take a little bit more, and we get nothing in return. Take the rainforest away from the animals. We put them in prisms, but we so nicely call zoos. But what actually be? A zoo is an animal prison. There always get neurotic behaviors in zoos. The animals. The animals get always neurotic behaviors in zoos because they're stressed, because they cannot be themselves, because they're being the whole time watched by humans. And on top of that, also. Sell it and get a number or get a sample that they're being aggressive when they're not being not actually aggressive, but because the total sociopaths, the narcissists, and the freaks don't watch the situation from the dark. I know you maybe don't think that you'd not be a victim. But it don't mean that you don't be a victim of us. Watch the situation always from the victim's point of view. If you want to know the difference between good and evil. The victims don't love. The victimizers make lies up to protect their behavior. You'll be not the victim. The animals being the victims. And the 
vegans in the Allied forces that want to stop the Nazis from abusing the animals in the concentration camps. What's a problem with that? Imagine that you being one of the Jews in the concentration camps. Were you against the people that from the Allied forces that uh, go into uh, Auschwitz and Birkenau and all the, all the other concentration camps to murder the Nazis to save the Jews? Pacifism, Pacifism is generally considered as a moral stance if it comes to violence. But actually, what pacifism in its ascension be is nothing more than a willingness to die and let others die on the drug wind of, on the behavior of world's most dirtiest criminals. I don't want to say that pacifism is in all ways the wrong side, but pacifism is also not in any situation the right side. Pacifism, if you truly been for 100% a pacifist, you mean one, unlogical, second, or second, hypocritical, unhonest and lying. Why not murder a chicken? Murder for a chicken? Um, and uh, imagine that I go to Thailand and free by killing a um, child pornographer producer and therefore I save the children. If I do that, I'm being a hero. But if I do it with baby cows, I'm being a criminal? Where is the logic and sanity in this? Both beings being children, being innocent, and have nothing that harms intentionally somebody else in the process. And they all so wants to be free. Speciesism, the belief that humans being superior to another living beings, the belief that humans being better than other living beings is the essence of any form of injustice. First we learn that animals, that some animals being commodities and other animals being food. Then we learn that woman being less than man, yes, you, if you be a man, and that woman being better than a smarter than a man, if you be a woman. Then we have a then we learn that homosexuals being different and therefore we judge them which we don't understand them and claim them are an evil have to be killed both vegan just just the right way to, to live and it's also the most peaceful way treat others like you want to be treated yourself or be a moral bit if you win a moral, you also deserve the same treatment like you fixed. It's so not a little bit fair. If you violate somebody else's life, I think it's not a um, pretty good, bad idea to the, to for you to give up your life. Suicide is not something a shame where you have to be shamed for. Everybody have more rights to decide that for themselves. It is your life. Nobody has the right to say what you have to do with your life. Go vegan. Be just like I say, honest. Stop with making lies and excuses for change your behavior and being just peaceful to other living beings. If you're not being 
why you then so res get deserve to have respect. Why? For now, the dragon is out, the fire will reading. Cop the fire up.